माइक्रोबायोलॉजी रेफर टू एज द नाइट मेयर ऑफ द सेकेंड ईयर नो वन लाइक्स टू रीड माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एट द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड ऑल्सो इवन इफ यू बिल्ड अप द करेज यू आर नॉट एबल टू रीड माइक्रोबायोलॉजी सो इट डेवलप्स अ फियर इन यू बट हाउ डू वी कॉन्कर दिस फियर Do not worry you have arrived at the perfect one stop solution to all your problems so get your apurva shastris and let's get started hello everyone i am your host and those nisar patel third year mbba student studying at gmrs medical college gothi is again back with the video on how to study microbiology so let's break down how to study microbiology and also at the same time which mistakes to avoid so that we ace our microbiology at the first go now let me tell you a story a boy named nisar patel was ready for his first internal exams on microbiology he just studied the clinical features and the pathogenesis he focused very less on the lab diagnosis because it was very hard to read and very time consuming wondering that he will cake walk through the exams but when he sees the paper he is dumbstruck to see the majority of the questions on the lab diagnosis now throughout the 2 hours of paper he just stares at the clock this was me last year and that is why i thought of making this video so that you do not make the same mistakes which i did now let's break down the mistakes in this part of the video the first mistake is not focusing on what is important that is the lab diagnosis now microbiology is not a subject of clinical features or pathogenesis but it is but obviously the subject of the lab diagnosis so we should focus more on the lab diagnosis secondly it is difficult to remember but the solution is very simple first of all focus on lab diagnosis and read it thoroughly at least two times whenever you sit to study the chapter for the first time if it is being difficult to remember then use active recall method question your friends on particular part of the lab diagnosis and also let them question you this is how you will revise efficiently and also remember the lab diagnosis and keep in mind that reading the first time is not when you will remember it fully you should revise it repeatedly so that it stays your in your memory now the story continues nisar goes to the second internal exam he focused on the lab diagnosis this time but still he got less marks why so because he did write the lab diagnosis but in the wrong format and only wrote what he knew and others who completed even the format got good marks now breaking the mistakes in this part of the story first is not knowing the format of the lab diagnosis and second is just waiting for the precise words to complete my answer but i should always complete at least the format of the lab diagnosis so what is the solution to these two problems first of all is knowing the format of the lab diagnosis and for that apurva shastri already has the chapters on a general lab diagnosis format for bacteria virus parasite and also fungi so we should focus on this first before proceeding to study the systemic microbiology the second part is not completing the lab diagnosis format sometimes the teacher wants you to complete at least the format and in that you can always mention molecular methods serological methods maldit of vtech pcr always in molecular methods in serology always mention direct elisa indirect elisa so this vague words also makes sure that the teacher knows that you are at least studying what is important in microbiology that is the lab diagnosis so make sure you complete the answer by at least writing the format of the lab diagnosis now at the end what you should also know is what are the type of questions asked in microbiology as per the theory exam they ask case based questions particular lab diagnosis questions these two questions are generally related to the diseases which are prevalent in india 
and at the end they can ask a short note based on a microorganism that is the pathogenesis clinical features and the lab diagnosis in case of a parasite they might ask you the life cycle of the parasite so how do we remember this life cycle always make sure that you write this life cycles on a piece of paper and stick it to your pin board and keep on revising it repeatedly so that at the time of the exams it is not something which you are studying for the first time now as per neat pg is concerned microbiology is a subject which is generally integrated with like pathology um, uh, medicine surgery dermatology etc so particular microbiology based questions are based on the lab diagnosis so at the end the most important part is the lab diagnosis the last part is that online resources are not a must for microbiology apurba shastri is so well written and it is very concise that you don't even need your notes for it even if you want to watch an online resource then you can refer to preeti ma'am or else you can refer to the m for microbiology notes so what is the summary of the video or what are the key take away points from this video first of all lab diagnosis lab diagnosis and lab diagnosis this is what what you should focus on for microbiology in theory exams you should also know the clinical features and pathogenesis but lab diagnosis is what you will be judged on so repeatedly revise the lab diagnosis as many times as possible and according to a revision method which is suitable to you if you want a video on how to revise a subject properly then please let me know in the comment section by writing the word revision the next point is knowing the format of the lab diagnosis that is refer to the chapters given in general microbiology for it and make sure you always complete the format of the lab diagnosis as per the theory exam is concerned even if you do not know the precise words at least make sure to complete the format and let's put all this into a week first of all on wednesdays and saturdays try to read the chapter and focus on the lab diagnosis part thoroughly whenever you sit to study first take up microbiology and that too on wednesdays and saturdays and complete it in the first time now the key day is sunday when you actually revise what you have read and revision is the game changer in microbiology and i will emphasize on the revision point very much because it is actually important that revision changes how you remember microbiology so at the end do not forget to like share and subscribe this video and for the imp list i have prepared a very precise imp list it also includes certain guide points that you should keep in mind before studying microbiology and this is in the description box so make sure you check it out and if you want to know how to study pathology then you should refer to the previous video on the particular topic and if you want a video on how to study microbiology as per the practicals are concerned then please let me know in the comment section and also stay tuned for an amazing video and the most awaited video that is on how to study pharmacology till then keep studying keep revising and always think out of the box